Hello and welcome. This character profile video is for the class Lancer. And what you'll see is all of her skills, the top eight PvE and PvP skills I recommend, her skill combos, her enhancements, player card, and a gameplay video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you the class Lancer. Here we go. And welcome to the skills screen. So first things first to tell you about, and that is that her Lancia Mastery skill, the standard one that everyone uh, gets, the Mastery one, is really beefed up. So there's a lot to talk about on this slide. First thing is the uh, red text that says Super Armor. It's at the very bottom left corner. It just means it's not applied in arena. So don't worry when we get to the PvP section We'll uh, tell you how you can get around that, but for now just know that that's what that means and on the left side is uh, The names of skills in green So let's explain what that is if we bring you all the way down to Lancia mastery it tells you that's 10 MP per hit, lateral attacks possible, 10 MP per lateral attack, and applies Blessing of Enslar. And what that does is it affects the Righteous uh, Torment, Fallen Angel, Divine Guard, and Holy Thrust. And that's why those are outlined in green. It's letting you know that it's connected to the Blessing of Enslar. So uh, take a moment to look at those details because when you use the skill, you're gonna get something different with each one. So you can cater it to your playstyle of what you like to do. And uh, my apologies uh, if you're completely new to this interface. Uh, allow me to introduce it real quick. On the far left are all the skills. On the far right are all the specials that go with these skills. The charges is how many times you can use that skill. And then the next one to the right is hits. That's how many times the skill will hit. And then damage-PVE is the highest percentage damage you can do against a creature in the world. And damage-PVP is the highest percentage damage you will do against another player. So once again, take a moment to look at this. I'm really excited about this class, and uh, I'm surprised a lot of people don't use her, but we will show you why you should consider her. So we're gonna move on to the top eight PVE skills that I recommend. Here we go. And welcome to the PVE skill slide. So the first thing I wanna say right off the bat is, oh my gosh, this character is really strong. She's right up there. And I can't wait to see how she compares to the other characters in strength. I mean, look at the highlighted section. She's got two skills that are 2K or 2,000% or higher in damage, which is rare. Not everyone has that. And then she's got three more skills that are 1,000 percentage up there. And that is common for a lot of characters. And then if you just just peruse the possibilities, for example, if you take Holy Thrust and you see how it hits twice and you multiply that by 940, that's 1,800. That's another 1,000k damage if both hit. And then the other one is Radiant Burst. If both hit, that's another 1,000 that of damage that you can do to a creature out there and so on and so forth. But the one that impresses me and I will be talking about uh, quite a lot in this video because it, it's amazing is Righteous Torment. If you take six hits times 437%, that's right up there with the highest one, Divine Judgment. So if all six hits on a creature, you're doing great damage so again i'm excited because she is really a powerhouse and like i said i just don't see many people playing her and i don't know why they just probably don't know that that lance is not a toy 
it is meant to hurt. So for all the creatures out there in the world, yeah, it's, it's, hate to be them. So take a moment to look at this. And what we'll do is we'll move over to the PVP skills slide and we'll talk about what you can do for those PVP players. Here we go. And welcome to the PVP slide. So here we go. Okay, first things first. You already know from a few minutes back that there, there are skills that do not apply in Arena. And those are the ones outlined in red with the name Super Armor in red. So, okay, that's fine. However, what impresses me to no end about this character is Pearl Abyss gave her strongest skill the one you really want to start with because it gives you super armor, it bounds your opponent, and uh, you can hold the skill button to teleport right where they are. And yes, there are other characters in the game that have the ability to go underground, fly above, or disappear. But when you see them, hold your skill button down and you're just gonna go, bam, right there. That's where they are, and now you're on the ground. Depends, if they have super armor, maybe not. But this is exciting because her highest damaging skill uh, is a really good start to your rotation of skills that you use. So once again, um, <laughs> start there you can move on to divine judgment and sanctify if you want just to get more things I want to bring it back to you consider the righteous tournament because that's six hits if they're bound on the ground and you hit them with righteous tournament all six are gonna hit that's a thousand two hundred plus damage and uh, if this actually happens you'll have to try it out but if it does inflict stun on the first hit you're continuing the pain for them and it knocked down on the last hit so I'm really excited about that combination of fallen angel righteous tournament or excuse me righteous torment uh, with that and then everything else you can add to it so oh and not to discount this Let's go back to Lancia Mastery. And if you look at the Blessing of Enslar and Righteous Torment, that it is the second line down in the middle. The letters R and T are green for Righteous Torment. And in PvP, the damage is, uh, you are reduced. So if somebody is damaging you, because you use that skill, that damage will be reduced by 15%. For 10 seconds so them coming back at you the damage will be less another reason right righteous torment is awesome so take a moment to look at this and when you're ready uh, we'll go ahead and move over to the uh, the Lancers combo screen and show you what you can do there here we go and welcome to the Lancer skill combo screen. So uh, don't be discouraged if uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of combos. Just know that uh, she doesn't need a lot. Uh, very simple and very elegant and strong in her attacks. And if we go back to uh, the combination that I was talking about, which uh, was the Fallen Angel, it looks like they recommend Divine Judgment. That would be the next skill down. For PvP and uh, it uh, knocks them up so it kind of looks like they want you to juggle your opponent in the air I mean if you do fallen angel to bound them and then divine judgment to knock them up in the air and then if you throw in the one that I'm talking about the righteous torment you know that's also going to immobilize them Boy, that you're just gonna bounce that poor opponent all over the all over the screen. So, what this is is recommendations on what you can do uh, for chaining combinations. So take a moment to look at this, try them all out. To truly know how to play your character well, you're gonna try them all out, and you're gonna see which ones you like and the ones you feel are most effective. So when you're ready. We'll go ahead and move on to the enhancement screen. Here we go. 
And welcome to the enhancement slide. So if you're new to this slide, let me introduce the interface to you. On the far left are all of her skills. On the far right are all the branch damage connected to those skills. And in the center is four columns. The first, second, and fourth are columns that do something for you. The third column is something that happens to the creature or player you're fighting. So I want to just uh, tell you that if you look at Divine Guard and Righteous Torment, there is an extra layer of damage you can unlock in the enhancements. It's called a flow. So for Righteous Torment, you unlock it at the level it needs and you'll do 350% more damage. You'll have the additional attack when you hold down the skill button. The super armor doesn't work in arena, that's fine. And it has a knockdown. So that's what the flow means. And looking around all of it, let me explain Divine Guard. If you look all the way to the right, the word heal is uh, gold colored. What that means is that she does not heal herself when you put her in Path of Glory. So that's what that means is uh, it, it just won't happen. But everywhere else outside of Path of Glory, she will heal herself when you unlock that enhancement. So uh, the one thing I definitely want to point out to you, and this has been my theme throughout this video, uh, being the flag person for Righteous Torment, and here's why. If you look at that all the way to the right, the fourth column, it has a flow. And normally I see one flow connected to one uh, skill, but she's got two. And this one counts. It not only increases her skill range, but it increases the amount of hits from six to 10. If you go back and say, I'm gonna unlock that flow in enhancements, and then what, what? I can hit my opponent 10 times? Yeah, that's deadly, right there. Sure, there's other people with spin to win, but when she gets going and does this animation to hit you 10 times, there's no stopping that train, it's gonna happen. So, uh, if I was playing this character, I would unlock that as soon as possible. Um, yeah, it's really impressive, and it got me all excited about this character, so I hope it gets you excited to know that not only does she hit hard, but 10 times, come on, wow. So take a moment to look at all this uh, on the enhancement slide, and when you're ready, we'll move on to the player card. Here we go. And welcome to the player card. So allow me to introduce this to you. It's like a baseball card. It is designed to have every slide except, except for the skill combos on it so that if you're pressed for time and you're familiar with my character profile videos, you can come right over to the player card for a new character or one you're interested in and see everything that they have in one shot. So allow me to introduce the interface for this uh, character. At the very top is the top eight PVE and PVP skills that I recommend, highlighted in green. And to the right of that is something new. It is called immobilization. So immobilization is anything that stuns, knock down, knock up, knock back, anything that immobilizes your opponent so that you can get extra damage in. And I want to call your attention to the fact that uh, she has three immobilizations that do that have two immobilizations in it: the radiant burst, and again, righteous torment, and retribution. So if you don't hit him with the first one, more than likely you might hit him with the second one because their super armor ran out. And uh, if you also look at the fact that 98, what, 98%? Just about all of her skills have an immobilization in it. All right, that's, that's very encouraging. I mean, you're gonna keep your opponent on the defensive 
playing this character and she just looks cool. So below that is all of the skills that uh, we told you about early on and then the enhancements. And at the very bottom, in case you're a little lost going, well, I don't know what this uh, forward guard or super armor is, I have the definition for you. For forward guard, it means that incoming damage will either be zero or heavily reduced. As long as you're using that skill that has a forward guard, and I don't believe she... Yeah, she does. Uh, Divine guard. It grants a forward guard while using the skill and inflicts days on hit. So as long as your opponent's in front of you, then they can't do any damage to you. But if they get to the sides of you or behind you, then they have a chance. But if they're in front, thinking they'll just knock you down toe to toe, you're the one who's gonna be laughing. Super armor below that. This means that incoming damage will be reduced and the effects that immobilize you, like stun, knockdown, freeze, etc., will not happen for a duration of time. And I can't really tell you when a super armor effect will wear off on your character. Uh, haven't really had the time to time that or figure it out, and I don't know if anyone else has. But this is why when you go up against other players, they have super armor refreshed in their rotation of skills that they attack you with. So it's advisable that you do too. And it was the, uh, let me go back up, it was the Fallen Angel, which is a fun skill to refresh your super armor. So take a moment to look at this, and when you're ready, the music is going to change. We're going to move on to the gameplay video and we'll be able to show you the Lancer in action. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and do it and I'll see you there. Here we go. And welcome to the gameplay video. So before we get started, let us show you where we're at. We're over here in Balanos and we are at Kron Castle entrance. And we're here because I like it here and their CP is 2519 and ours is 4708. She'll have lots of fun. So we also have a auto path that we use and the way this is gonna work is she's gonna fight for about two or three minutes, showing you all the skills that she can. And at the end of it, we'll head to town. I'll give my outro and say thank you. So without further ado, I give you the class, Lancer. Here we go.
Okay, looks like we're just about ready to head back to town. And just finishing off one. There we go. I like how everyone's all, get her! <laughs> so, um, what I'm going to do now is, uh, is just get her in and display her for you. And take this moment to do my outro and say thank you. So... Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like my videos. If you do, please subscribe, like, let people know. I'm always making more videos. And let's go ahead and get her in a good, there we go, good display. And once again, thank you guys so much. I really am happy to do this for you. So you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye now.